Yeah, hello YouTube. Today I'm, I'm going to show you uh, part two for the looping structure in Ruby.net. So we're having an additional function in the loop that is a step function, uh, which says the uh, increment. Like we can increment the looping structure by one, two, or anything. So we're going to we're going to code a program for the increment and decrement using the for loop, as for loop already comprises of it. So I'm going to declare a variable and integer dime a as integer dime a as integer dime b as integer and we're going to get some values from users. So first of all, we're going to print a message like enter the value for increment. Okay. And then we're going to store it to the variable a using a signing operator and console dot read line. Okay. And now for loop comes for a equals to zero to a, and the additional function is step. And we're going to increment every every numeric by two. Well, the above well, this statement says that loop will start from 0 to a means whatever value user going to define or whatever values user going to enter it will be a so if for example we are assuming a user is entering 10 then loop will start from 0 to 10 and every time loop will be executed it will be increment by 2 so if this would be true, then we're going to print a message, right line, right line, and we're going to simply print a message that incremented, and that is a. Well, here this is a string, this is a variable, so we need to concat both at the same time. So there are some concatenation operator that is n, okay, and yes, we are done with it. So to hold the output screen, we're going to write read line, enter, and air file. So, enter the value. We're going to press 10 and hit. So, it's working. It's starting from 0, increment by 2. That is 2. Then again, 2, 2, 2. And it will be print all even numbers. That is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, now we're going to code for the decrement purpose. So, what we're going to do here? So we are having another variable called b. So we're going to use that variable. So first of all, we are going to copy this for statement as this will be the same, but need to need some changes. So here, enter the value for decrement, and we're going to store those values in b. And the for loop comes for b equals to zero to b and step. So as we're going to decrement, so we're going to write here minus 2. But if we are starting from 0, then it will won't go backwards. So we need to change here, it will start from b there and 0. So if user will enter 10, let's assume then it will start from 10 to 0 and it will be get in the reverse order that is 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and finally 0. So again, console dot right line, and that is decremented and b and the concatenation operator, and done. Okay, so hit F5, and it's asking for increment the that is 10. Okay, and another is asking for a prompt enter the value for decrement so let's enter 10 yeah cool it's working properly so you can also change the values over here we can make 3 or you can step forward to this or 5 anything so hit f5 and let's check it out 10 so 10 5 5 so it is incremented by 5 so let's what about decrement so i entered 20 so it will starting from it is reducing by 3 20 17 14 10 
so by using this for loop you can use uh, increment and decrement so thanks for watching my video stay tuned for more video keep subscribing us follow us on facebook thank you